Get ready, America, because you're about to see the best of Split Hoof tonight. Sweet Swine County's number one late night show. Live from Sweet Swine County, where every day is sweet, it's Split Hoof Tonight with Billy Gates and the Broken Windows Band. Hi, I'm Earl Silo, and now let's welcome Sweet Swine's one and only, Cousin John. What do you mean you find it offensive? Too bad, I find it funny. That just goes to show you why I'm happier than you are. Oh, hey folks, how you doing? Hi, and uh, welcome to another fine episode of Split Hoof Tonight. Hey, you know, Earl? Yeah. I was down at the bar the other night at that Legion. I walk in, I look down, and down at the end of the bar, there's these three big girls. I mean, they were big, big girls. Looked like maybe Olympic shot putters. Okay. Big girls. And I could tell they were talking with kind of a brogue, you know, so. I thought, oh, I'll grab my beer and go down and talk to them. And I go, hi, you lassies from Scotland. And the one turns to me and she goes, you ignorant yank, don't you know it's whales, you moron? I went, oh, God, I'm so very sorry. Are you three whales from Scotland? <laughs> that was the last thing I remember. I imagine so. Anyway, well, so, you know, speaking about beer drinking, there was a lady, she was doing a bunch of, uh, how would you put this, kind of uh, socially redeeming uh, uh, interviews, and she was in a, you know, a, not a real rich area of town, and she walks through, and she sees this guy walk along, and he's got three six-packs of beer under his arm. Okay. She goes, excuse me, sir, you, uh, you, you must be a beer drinker. Do you drink every day? And he goes, yeah. And she goes, how much? And he goes, three six-packs. Really? Yeah, start about noon, drink until I go to sleep. She goes, wow. She goes, well, how much are those six packs of beer? And he goes, well, right over here at the deli, they're about 10 bucks. So she says, really? So roughly, you've been doing that. So you go three a day, you spend about $900 a month. Yeah. So that'd be like $10,800 a year. And he goes, yeah, I guess that's right. Well, how long have you been doing this? He said, 15 years. She goes, 15 years? So if one year you spend $10,800 on beer, you know, not counting for inflation, over 15 years, you've spent $162,000. He goes, okay. I guess so. She goes, you know, did you realize that if you didn't drink your beer, that by now you could have bought a Ferrari? And the guy thinks for a minute and goes, uh, let me ask you this lady, do you drink? And she goes, no. Well, where the hell's your Ferrari? <laughs> Anyway, folks, hey, stick around with us. We've got a great show and a little something special tonight. So stick with us. We're going to see something going on outside Street Swine County. We'll be right back. Get ready, because just when you thought you'd gotten the cocklebers out of your overalls, they're now on TV. That's right. This is one weed you won't want to pull. The Cockleburr Morning Show with hosts who deliver a mix of news, entertainment, and information about the communities throughout our story country. Now on this station and the web. Hey folks, thanks. Welcome back to Split Hook tonight. Earl? Earl, you know, I've asked you this before, but once again I have to remind you, and i got to ask, what are you doing? Well, I'm preparing for, for my next trip outside Sweet Swine County to do one of my really great reports. Yeah, but you never leave Sweet Swine County. Well, I, I yes, I do for I'd my reports. like to have it seen, but hey, haven't we been down this road before, though? You know, have you forgotten, you know, you're a part-time reporter and you're a full-time sidekick here. This is your full-time job. Well, yeah, I know, but... But the competition between all the reporters here at KLUK TV has really been getting hot. I appreciate you do your research, but I'd just rather have you not do it here. <laughs> okay, well, all right, Cousin John. What do you say we bring out our guest? Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, each week, as host of Split Hoof tonight and owner of the TV station, I get to select our guests. Now, something a little different happened this week. Uh, 
I received this email yesterday, and, and, and I thought I should probably just read it to you. It goes like this. It says, Olson, plow here. As you know, I have a new business and a new book to promote. And I have selected your show to be the first stop on my book tour. If you have another guest planned, cancel them. Get ready. There's a new plow in town. Wow. That, that letter was from Elmer Plow? Yep. What, wasn't he the, like the farm safety director guy for Sweet Swine County? Yep. Always remind you to double tie your shoes. Yeah, and all yeah. That. Rumor has it over there in Edie's that uh, Elmer has changed. He's turned over a new leaf. And... and He's got a catchphrase. There's a new plow in town. A catchphrase? Wow. Maybe I should get a catchphrase. Really, Earl? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming tonight's guest, Elmer Plow. <laughs> hey, Plow. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, John. Earl? Well, Elmer, is it, is it true that, that you've turned over a new leaf? That you've changed? Well, Earl, it is true. And as Elmer's catchphrase says, there's a new plow in town. Oh, come on, please. A catchphrase, sunglasses, speaking in the third person. Who do you think you are, Herschel Walker or what? <laughs> Thanks for asking, Cousin John. And you know what? I do have some big plans. I'm opening up a new clinic. It's called Plowing Through Life. A new clinic? You heard me, a new clinic. What, well, what are you going to do with the clinic? Well, I'm going to be a life coach. I'm going to help people. I'm going to teach them how to get through life, you know, buck it up, get with the program kind of a thing. You got a uh, problem uh, with that, Earl? Hey, guys, guys. You? Uh, hey, host here. <laughs> I'm not trying to bust up your party, but uh, that's all real interesting, but uh, getting a little signal from the producer here that it's time to take a look at uh, something that's going on outside of Sweet Swine County. Wait a minute, aren't you the producer? Yeah, and I decided it's time to take a look at something that's going on outside Sweet Swine County. Stick with us, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Charles Cornralt, and you probably know me from the TV show Tuesday Afternoon. Well, enough about me. Join my fellow celebrities as we take a look at small town living at its best. In the county of Martin, the town of Fairmont, Minnesota, you will find our story productions. In 2007, Jeff and Denise Rouse had a goal to produce a television program that would highlight the businesses, organizations, events, and people of their community. After hiring a local production company and recruiting friends and community members to volunteer, they began one of the most unique programs on TV. Because of their unique and, dare we say, corny programming, the show gained popularity. With their popularity, other communities began to contact them to see if they could become part of the Our Story family. New programs were added, Additional volunteers were recruited. The Our Story team discovered some of the best stories were coming out of some of the smallest towns. So the decision was made to feature as many of the small towns as possible, no matter how small. They believe that every town has a story, and they all need to be told. Today, with staff that included over 60 volunteers, the television show Our Story, Small Town Living at Its Best, spotlights over 225 small communities in four states and has told over 1,500 stories about the communities in the upper Midwest. Each show is aired in over 1 million households on cable television, as well as on their website, YouTube, and Facebook, and yes, even Pinterest. Our Story Productions continues to receive requests to join Our Story family and welcomes communities to email them to have their businesses, organizations, events, or people featured. Our Story Productions is proud to be sharing the lifestyle that we share in the small towns of the Upper Midwest, for it's not just the past, but the present that becomes Our Story. Hey folks, we're back, and it's uh, real interesting though. Elmer's been sharing with us his plans for a new clinic called Plowing Through Life. You know, I have to admit, it does sound kind of interesting. Well, it better, Cousin John, because as you know, you're the one putting up all the money, and you know why. Wait, you're, you're putting up the money, Cousin John? You know, I, I really don't want to talk about that. Plow, hey, tell us about your new book. Yeah, tell us about the book. You can learn all you need to know directly from the cover of this book. Well, Elmer, can, can, can I read the book? Can I show him the book? Can I tell him about it? Sure. Earl, here you go. Oh, Enjoy. Uh, well, you know, it says on the front yeah, here, right. Plowing Through Life, Elmer's five-step proven plan for a better life. 
by renowned life coach. That's you. Hey. <laughs> on the back, well, it says here that, that you had an epiphany when you were on assignment in Siberia. And, uh, who, who needs this epiphany? It was time to stop dreaming, and during the exile, you come up with a five-step program, and wow, this is, man, look at all the pages in that. There must be 50, 60. All right, right, all right, that's enough. Complete Listen. Complete edition. Complete edition. Give me a break. Wow. We need to go see another report. We're going to see something's going on, something else that's going on outside Sweet Swine County. We'll be right back. Get ready, because now you can watch a full of fun daytime talk show that shares the latest and greatest news about the people, places, and events found all over our story country. The Women of Sweet Swine County, hosted by three sassy ladies that tell small town stories with big town attitude. Now, on this station and the web. Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, we're talking here with Elmer Plow, talking about his new book and his new clinic. Blah, 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 and oh my God, thank goodness we are out of time. Whoa, 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 I got one big announcement for you, Cousin John. Oh boy. I have purchased books for everyone in your studio audience. <laughs> yeah, isn't that special? Anyway, folks, this goes to show why we're the hottest ticket in town. You may need something to prop up a leg on your dining room table or something. Anyway, folks, thanks for joining us for this great edition of Split Off tonight. Plow, thanks for stopping by. Earl, once As again. As always. Always great. Folks, we'll see you again next time. Good night, everybody. Yeah.